I don't know what to, th what to think. This reminds me of the the Shadow Curse. It's a cellar. I think it's where we were. There's a heavy chest here. Watch how you go. There's a trap. There is indeed. Nothing that will stop us. Difficulty class 14, let's go. My god, I just roll a 28. Coruscation Ring. When the wearer deals spell damage while illuminated by a light source, they also inflict radiant orb upon the target for two turns. Which means that's for Shadow Heart, because she's always illuminated by a light source, right? Although she doesn't do spell damage all that much, but it is... It may actually be better than the Arcane Synergy thing. Oh yeah, the Ring of Elemental Infusion doesn't actually apply to her very well. So the Scaruscation Ring is likely going to be better in the long run, if not immediately. Really powerful. I mean, really interesting anyway. It's not, I'm not sure if it's going to break the game or anything by being so powerful. But we're getting really fitting items to our builds, and I love that quite a lot. Anyway, that was... This is... That's that This for this area. This is just the way forward. Where does this lead? That was not that for this area. Knotted Roots is marked on the map? No one to draw any attention. Yeah. You should probably put a torch away. Although... Yeah, there's, 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 there's things. We are going. We're okay. What are they? Mean locks. They look horrible. They look like zergs to me. Light sensitivity? They have a disadvantage on attack rolls. Wait, what? In bright light? Really? Oh my god. Shadowheart just goes in and murders. That's what's gonna happen. Fear aura is... Oh, that is a problem. Could possibly frighten nearby beasts and humanoids with its fey pre uh, presence. And that is... Uh, well, I don't know if it's Saluna. The blue may mean that... Oh, now I can see things. I couldn't see that from here. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can You can go down. So that me that may mean that we can just shoot... And I will want to do that because that does damage that, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, that does, that surprises them. So we will just shoot normally. Careful. Those are mean locks. They are. Their eyes are made for darkness. Strike with fire or light. We also have dark vision. Don't worry about it. We all do, right? Uh, yeah, only Gale doesn't. I think even Will may have dark vision. Actually, that is true. Which one of our companions... All of them have dark vision apart from Gale. That is... That's good. <laughs> uh, because not play, playing with not dark vision is a pain in the ass. On account of... Um, on account of... Um, uh, what... what oh, I'm, I'm considering things here. On account of you not knowing sometimes where you should be shooting, should be placing yourself... And having disadvantage on attack rolls One day I'll catch a break. is a pain. It's quite, quite bad. I don't have advantage. That sucks. That said. That said. I think that means... These are not bonus actions, yeah. That means I should cast this on you. And attack you normally with this. And attack you normally with this. That was a miss. Okay, you're probably gonna disable that. Staying out of sight. Let's see what I can do with our companions here. Uh there's there's a passage. Nope. Okay, she passes. Mean lock fear is applied to her. Okay. Let's march. I'm too tall for this. 
Yeah. So she keeps the fear. The, the mini map is weird. They're everywhere. That's potentially a problem. Yeah, she gets in there. Uh, it's not her turn. No, it is. It is. We're good. Okay, 80%. We're not going to attack with advantage or with uh, all-in. Just going to attack like that. Uh, I will go frenzy. We have plenty of charges for that. So that's not too bad. And uh, as for Shadow Hearts, my favorite. Uh, Shadow. I think I do think that I should get Shadow Heart in the front with a Beacon of Hope, or at least be in the middle of the the fight. You know. The problem is she. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that is a problem. Let's. Oh, perhaps I shouldn't have done this. Perhaps I shouldn't have done that. Ready for another round. And the reason for that is because she loses her action. She does not. No, she may, she does. There it is. Uh, yeah. So I could cast Shield of Faith on. Yeah, I'm not gonna cast Shield of Faith. I'm just gonna keep things as they are. But you should hopefully kill this thing. No, nope, you miss. That's all right. I think. I think that is all right. So, Karlak will attack right now. She's immune to Menlock Fear. She gets a bonus kill. 55, that's nasty. That's really nasty. She rolled an 11. And she lands that. She has to roll 17. Blood comes easy these days. Pretty bad. Okay, uh, so I will attack you. No advantage, so I'll just attack you normally. And that's a kill, which is pretty good. Uh, there's another one over there, but that's outside of my range. This one, no advantage. But, yeah, I'll just attack normally. That was a critical hit. Okay, well, bonus... Uh, Offhand attack. My bonus action. And there it is. I should have done... Actually, with that, I should always do all-in. Because the... The return is so powerful. She's now paralyzed. That's a problem. That's a, that's a, that's a serious problem. Shadow teleport. They just do that a lot, don't they? Teleport to a shadowy location. So it's just a lower version of Misty Step. Okay, now you're frightened, but now you can cast Spirit Guardians in Radiant Damage, please. And, uh... Wait, you're immobile? That's nasty. It's got a spiritual weapon, a great axe in here. We're good, we're good. And then you can... Well, actually, it depends on what you're going to be able to do. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'll move... Oh, no, you're also immobile. We could do good things. Why can't I select my great axe? Is it immune to... Let's see. Hopefully it is immune. Poison immunity, psychic immunity, it's not immune. To radiant damage. I was going to do radiant damage on their face. But the the fact we're stuck is a huge problem. And have disadvantage on things as well. It is a big, big problem. Sunbeam would definitely... Oh man, that sucks to have cast that. Whatever. Maybe it doesn't apply to friends. No, it applies to friends. It applies to friends for sure. It did a lot of damage, though, so I am glad for that. And she also can teleport, but I'm just going to keep her there. 
Uh, you are mm, frightened. Okay, yeah, this, this guy is the issue. Do you... What do you have equipped? You have your sword, so melee. 35. Yeah, I need to get out of here. Need to get out of there because that's bollocks. 81. I have this advantage because I'm frightened. That's normal. Go. All right. And the normal attack 56. Pretty bad. There we go. Okay. That's that. Karlak didn't do anything because she's paralyzed. And now I have a new friend again. My concentration is broken, which is a bit of a bummer. Interesting. Misses all around. That's a miss as well. And the damage over time, which is actually pretty important. Uh, and did not kill you. But my consideration is, can I move around and do damage? Yes, I can. Unfortunately, not a kill, but that's that's fine. So, is Karlak still paralyzed? Karlak is not paralyzed anymore. I will... We don't need to heal right now. I'm just going to attack. But if I'm going to attack, I should cast... 45. How? Wisdom 12. Are these wisdom checks? They're dexterity checks. They're just... Yeah, they're very dexterous. Hmm. I'll attack normally. Or I'll attack with this. Because, yeah. They may actually have disadvantage. No, they don't. Well, not disadvantage, you know, the, the thing. Okay, here goes the, the axe. Finally. 50. Oh. Oh, that's a miss. That's not too bad. So I'll actually attack you here. Time to strike. And you... I didn't make the right choices. I must say, I didn't make the right choices. That's bad. My turn. Yeah. Uh, Kyrlak will likely be able to kill... Well, they will die the moment they get out of there. So what I need to do is I need to... Can I actually help you? No. I would have to try to kill you. Which is not looking very likely. So I'll just try to kill you instead. 55. That's all right. And we don't have... Oh, I must be enraged. I wasn't enraged? Oh, because she got paralyzed. She's not enraged anymore. Go for it. But that's her bonus action, so that's it. Critical hit on Giladel. Giladel's about to die. That's, uh... That's a thing. How did you not take that damage? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, let's do Shocking Grasp. Miss... But I think, I think if I move you, and I can't, but if I had moved her, she would, uh, she would do damage. Uh, so we have a kill here. That's one. I would want, I would want something that has 100% guaranteed hit, but that, that's, I don't think I have that. So I'll just do Sacred Flame. And that is a kill. All right, uh, let's do Shield of Faith. Actually, let's do... Healing word. Can I do that for Giladel? Yes, I can. Maximum. Take you, there we go. Not great, but better than what usually can do. Okay, send you over there. Almost a kill. I wasn't expecting it to be a kill, honestly, so that's better than nothing. And uh, I will try. Should I really try to help Karlak? I don't think so. I don't think that it's needed. Because I can rotate. Where are the enemies here? That's one. Are they both on top of... Wait, what? Oh, there's only two. Right, right, right. Okay. Manlock Fear didn't apply. I don't think. Uh, Giladel. Never a dull moment. She's up. Okay, melee. What can you do here? 56. And with disadvantage? Are you prone or something? Because I saw you... Oh, you're reeling. Oh, because they hit me. Right, I have that thing that sends them reeling. That's what you get. Okay, uh, in that case, I will do Hunter's Mark. Because I need it. And I'll attack you a couple of times. And 36. That's pretty bad. 
But I landed both times, which is very, very surprising. This is my happy place. Sixteen percent chance to hit is tremendously bad for Carlac. I'm rolling for 17s. That is that is brutal. There we go. And rotate around. Uh, Sentinel here. Pretty good. And now you attack. Concentration broken again for Hunter's Mark. And quite a lot of damage, in fact. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, are you immobile again? My god. Why is she immobile all the time? Okay, let's try to kill you. Saved. It's just how it is. And then you hopefully kill. That is very surprising. And... Pretty great. It was a Selenite Shrine then. Cozy down here. Secret even. And I was paralyzed up there. Couldn't do nothing. A portrait of a snowy brown beard. What? Bundled in his heavy satins and frumpy hat, this noble fixes the observer with anxious eyes, ever a mustache beard a combination of auburn whitening to snow. I don't know what that thing was that got disabled in the background. Well, it'll be sold. It will definitely be sold. We also have a last light side entrance key. And they're just keys. And candelabras. Alfred's note. Alfred in my pack. Can turn all, all these candles on. Because why not? And that candelabra as well. Hands on everything. Oh, there's more! Wow. Anyway, what is this? I have concealed the sacred relics of our revered goddess in the darkest corner of this place. Morfred, my loyal brother, seeks to forge a network of allies to stand against the oppressive reign of Catherick Thorm. Sadly, fear has gripped the hearts of many, turning them away from our cause. I cannot truly blame them, for trepidation fills my soul as well. But I must put aside my own fears and reunite with Morfred in the bowels of the Masons. Guild. Together we shall preserve what we can of the moonlight's or moon maiden's light and hope that the banner of the faithful soon rise against the treacherous dog Thorn. So he was definitely fighting against Selenites. Treacherous as well, which may mean other things. And we got a journal update, although that we have interesting. Infiltrate Moonrise, we got a bunch of complete stuff. Find mole. Yeah, I need to do that. Investigate the, the Selenite resistance. The uh, Mason's Guild seems to have been the center of the Selenite resistance in the area. We should seek it out and investigate further. If if there are things to investigate further. Oval framed elven eminence. It's just... Yeah, these are just paintings. They're meant to... To adorn things, not, not, not really to do anything else. Okay. So, this is all junk... But these things... Oh, oh, it's just alchemical ingredients. I mean, I... Oh, no, no, it is not. You know, it, it is not just that. There's also a covert cowl, which I believe will be an upgrade to my frayed drow hood, which adds to dexterity saving throws. This does the same, but while obscured, the number you need to roll a critical while attacking is reduced by one. Which is really good for... Uh, just generally. It's just amazing, honestly. For, for rogues, it would be really good. But I'm, I don't really ne necessarily pay attention to how obscured I am oftentimes. It's just that being a rogue or being a ranger... Well, it's not about being a ranger, but it's about fighting with, with uh, ranged weapons. Allows me to... Um, to stay obscured a lot more often. We keep getting those, those orange balls. Well, we haven't gotten one for a while, but... I... Um, I've never used them. <laughs> Put my torch out. Sunlight prayer book. Dearest Saluna, our fair maiden, weave our hearts with threads of silver. Guide us with light of the moon and quench us with the purest of tears. Okay. 
Can I read it here? No. <laughs> It'd be fun, but no. Well, I can, but it doesn't do anything. I imagine the uh, the terrible things that we fought don't really relate to the altar in any way. And I imagine the key that we got is for the chest that we got inside that thing. Potentially. There's just a lot of th this blue light. Last light in... Hmm. Alright. So I'll go in there in a little bit, but let me just make sure there's nothing down here. There's just a little bit of water. I think. Yeah. It's just a dungeon. A big dungeon for us to fight in if we wanted to. But no, it's better to keep bring them to me. There's more smoke powder. And rats. Or bats. Huh. Double oak doors. Wait, why are you going outside? What? 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 Okay. Oh, they were... Do you see? There's a spider web. I was here and I didn't see that. That's cool. <laughs> That's a cool detail. Alright, so... I think the dark... I still think that the darkest... There's... See that up there? I did notice the light being weird here. But that thing that we saw up there may be just a... Uh, it may be just remnants of the, the level design and things like that. This is the darkest place that we were talking about. Yeah. I mean, there's this thing, which is pretty conspicuous, because why would it be over here? But it doesn't really seem to lead anywhere. So I would say... I would say the cellar is done. Let's get out. All right. Now, what else did I forget to check on around here? That's where Bex is, and apparently we can go outside. Now, how exactly does... Hmm. Does the outside work? Because we won't take... We won't start taking damage, right? That's, that's what we have the protection for, is we won't start taking damage if we're in the dark. Which is pretty handy, but also... Look at this, right? That's just a place for us to hide if we need to. Which indeed would allow us to explore this without... Um, without the blessing. Wow, there's just food in here. Wow. That might be worth a look. What's that? It very well... Maybe worth a look. Let's dig. And this keeps going. We're, we're still outside. So what is it? It is. Scroll of Conjure Minor Elemental. It's not a companion. Unfortunately. Because uh, it's just a summon. Don't worry about it. Keeping track of where we're going. Weave Moss. Victims of the Shadow Curse. At least they were afforded a burial. Um... Who was afforded a, a burial? Because we're on the other side of the... Oh, here we have graves. 
Well, I'll dig their graves. There's rapiers. I'll not take that. I don't think it matters, but... Just in case it does. Oh, yeah, there's graves all over. A liar. I wish... I wish you could read the... The tombstones, or whatever. Rather than the, uh... <laughs> then open their graves. But that's... That's close enough. And the blast mines... Let me just ungroup people. But, yeah, we're not going in there. Almost stepped on a mine. It's fine. Oh, there's more of them up here. Yeah. Nothing else. Alright. So. That means... That... That actually... What does that mean? How does that connect? Look at that. It goes back over there. Oh yeah, that's the beautiful place that I was gushing about before. Anyway, ooh. I should uh, perhaps talk with the dead here. I mean, I know it's a, it's a, it's a, um... Oh, I don't have it cast. Oh. I'll try? The corpse has nothing to say. I figured. But the fact that I didn't have it cast means I was, I was not seeing... The, uh... The, the, the aura. So who died in here? They may... They may... It's only these things. Well, there's the big honcho, I suppose. Let's go upstairs. There we go. Yeah, yeah. It's the only one as well. I don't know where Isabel... Oh, Isabella's there. Okay. Let's talk to you. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Why were you after the cleric? Orders. Of the general, absolutes chosen. How do I get to Moonrise Towers? Cross cursed lands carry the light. How did you come to work for the absolute? Um, squad captured, enlightened. Did you leave anything valuable behind? Outside the inn, buried near graveyard, she found out. She found out. Who is the chosen? Ketherick Thorn. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Of course, the general. I met. Yeah, right there. We need to go. It's a hidden body. Hey, Isabel. Don't let your hero catch you, dawdling. I will not. I will not. Anyway. Perimeter is clear, ma'am. Good. We'll leave soon. And we don't want any surprises. They're actually gonna leave? Well. I am leaving as well. Well, not not leaving. Let's go to the cemetery first. So there's something up here. A hidden body. These graves seem to have been dug up, actually. Oh, we have it. It's here. Well, oh, I could go for a good meal. Marcus did this. Mm. Sick bastard. What's that? What is that? A dead flaming fist. The Shield of Scorching Reprisal. When a foe hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction to knock it prone unless they succeed. Didn't I get this already? Didn't I get a, sh a similar thing? Shield Bash. Yeah. This, of course, is a different thing. G grants resistance to fire damage. This one casts uh, aid, which is pretty good, actually. Aid is pretty awesome. 
in Blazing Retaliation. Blazing Retaliation? What is that? Huddle behind your shield to increase your armor class by one, and reap Scorching Retaliation upon attackers who miss you. That's an action? It's a bonus action. Oh, that is much better than that. That is much better than that. So this means you should have this. Right there. And that allows you to cast aid. This one is, is nice, I suppose. I mean, I could use that, but... Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're gonna keep it around. But this means... Let's look at our, our skills here. Oh, she has aid already. And this is just a special kind of aid. Yeah, we'll keep it over there. Yeah, I spent a bunch of money on this shield for no reason. Because <laughs> I, I, I would get this one. This one is a little bit better. It's still pretty good, but... Another step forward. There it is. That's what I get for uh, not talking with the dead, really. 